Now it's time to act upon it. Find out what triggers this. When do you have the tendency to do this stuff? That's the important because this is a very individual thing. Some of us, when they face a problem, they actually run away to this. Like when you have a problem with your life, with your marriage, with your spouse, and then you just run away to the computer. The person would run away to the computer. Some of us, oh, I have time on my hand. I just want to do it. You know? uh, some people actually, <laughs> and this is a very interesting piece, especially with the, the, the devoted Muslims, and you would be surprised to hear devoted Muslims um, doing this. Actually, some of them justify it this way. I'm not going to commit adultery. That's how they actually get yourself, themselves into doing this. There is no way I'm going to commit adultery. And this is the least of the two evils. So let me just watch that and do it. So for him, he doesn't want to commit adultery. Now, the way to avoid committing adultery is to do this. So every one of us de developed a psychology that triggers the desire, which later on, after being addicted, it becomes a must. You must get it. You need it. It's no longer a desire. See, you need to analyze yourself. Why am, when do I do this? When do I do this? Now, try to find alternative for this. Say, okay, when I become upset, you know what? I'm going to do this instead. Instead of this. But you have to figure out when. Because I want to stress this. This varies from one person to another. Now, what else you can do is do not access the internet alone. You'll find the people who are into this, they spend hours and hours in front of the computer and they do this in private. No, get a big screen in the living room somewhere so everybody would be watching what you're doing. If you have a way to prevent this stuff, filter this stuff with your internet service, do this, especially for your own kids, do this. But try to get supervision from the people around you.